another episode of Ole's Fishing Adventures. How's it going? Alright, so a while ago I put to a vote on what I wanted to uh, do. You guys picked Mystery Tackle Box, of course. So, that's anyway. But, today I am going to talk to you a little bit about my rod and reel setup. Now, I fish with St. Croix rods and Shimano reels. I really like these setup. Um, I am not sponsored by either of them. I purchased them both on my own or Christmas gift. I have started with St. Croix when my dad and grandpa both have given me rods and reels. I've started with both of their items. Um, I love them. So what I'm going to talk today about is my Shimano Cassitas, which I really like this reel. It's the 151 HG which is the 7.2 to 1 gear ratio. So it's going to turn 30 inches or more per crank. So I got the left-handed one, which is the 151. I like the left-handed for my flipping and pitching, and I just like the left-handed. Most of my spinning setups are left-handed, and I am currently converting over to all left-handed setups. So with that being said, we're going to talk about this reel. I love this reel. It is 7 to 1, 7 2 to 1. Remember that. It's a great reel. I have it paired with um, 50 pound Power Pro right now. Uh, I really like 50 pound for flipping a jig or something into, or flipping or pitching a jig or a bait with a weight into heavy cover. Right now I have a little swim bait jig or swimming jig tied on. I don't use a leader on when I'm flipping with this guy. I just go straight braid. I some people like that, some people don't. I like it because it's going to be more sensitive. Now, I have this whole setup on a St. Croix Mojo Bass. It is a 7 to 1 medium heavy fast action rod. I really like this. It's got good backbone to it. I like the way it just feels. Everything to it is just nice. It's going to be still stiff, yet it's still going to be smooth enough and fast enough that you're going to feel when that fish hits, even if it's the slightest of bites. I really like the way this feels in my hand. I can hold it and grip it, and it's just, it's got a perfect setup. I really like the way this is done. Um, St. Croix Mojo Bass are one of my favorite. I know they're not the top of the line, but they are one of my favorite rods. I just like what they have to offer. All my setups are right around $200. That's what I like to try and spend. 200 to 250 is what I try to spend on a setup. Next, I'm going to talk to you about my frogging slash sunfish. Now, I really like Life Target sunfish. So what I have this on is a St. Croix Premier Series. It's going to be a little bit older. Um, it's going to be a 7.6 heavy with a fast action. This one is also going to be the telescoping rod, so it extends out and it's easier for storage. Now, I have that paired with an older Shimano Corrado. I have 30 pound Gander Mountain Braid on it. Uh, this was one of my first reels that I had started up with, and so I've just left it at that. This braid's been on there for a year, and it's still great. I mean, I've probably got another year and a half or so left in it before I decide to switch. I really like the way it feels. Um, I'm also just using it because, hey, it's here. Might as well use it. I like to tie uh, sunfish or my frog straight on it and just slow retrieve, walk them back. I really like the way this feels. It's got good action. It's going to be fast. It's going to have enough backbone so when I go to jerk the hook set, that fish is going to stay on and it's going to catch it in the lip and I'm going to have a better chance at hookups. Um, this is one of my favorite rods. I like it. It was given to me by, by my grandfather, so hey, I can't complain. My grandfather feeds my passion, so that's all I really care about. If he's going to feed my passion, then hey, I'm going to take his offer on whatever he's going to willing to give me. So that is my frogging slash sunfish setup. Next setup I want to talk to you guys about is going to be a open face. So let me take my red glove off real quick. I am not sponsored by Red Glove either, the Ball State is, so I was able to purchase that. So this is going to be a 7 foot medium fast action. It's going to be a carbon light, a Johnny Morris Bass Pro carbon light. I really, really like the lightness of the rod. I have it on a Johnny Morris carbon light reel. It is the three, 
the 30 series, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. I have 20 pound test on it. It's going to be braid. I like braid. I just like braid. Then I have a three and a half to four foot P line fluoro clear leader. It's going to be 15 pounds. And then I have tied on is a shaky head. I really like shaky heads. Um, my favorite color is watermelon, um, green watermelon. I really, really love this color. I've caught in lots of fish off of it. Um, so the knot I'm going to tie is for this is either going to be the FG knot or a double uni. Right now I have the FG knot. I just switched to the FG knot. It's a much more stiffer knot and it's a lot harder to break. It's also going to protect the fluorocarbon slash fluoro clear, which I am throwing on this reel when I am reeling it up and casting it out. Um, you can't go wrong with the Johnny Morris Carbon Light. It is a very, very light rod. The reel is light itself. I just like how everything feels. Um, for 100 bucks, you can't go wrong with this reel, this or this rod. This reel is great for the price. The combo is like 170 through Bass Pro. I am not sponsored by Bass Pro as a disclaimer again, guys, but this is great. It's a great fishing setup. What's really cool is on the end, you have this little dial that you can twist and it'll tell you what um, weight line you're throwing. So if I get any more of these, I can have them set to different weights. I really like this. This is one of my spinning setups that I use all the time. Um, it'll probably be my shaky head setup most of the time, or a wacky worm, or a tube. I really like the way it is done. It's for my finesse fishing. So, and the last one I want to talk to you guys about today is another St. Croix, and it is another bait caster. I have the Cassidus on it. It is the 150 HG. It's my right-handed one. Um, I'm not sure why I got right-handed, but I just got right-handed for this one. So I have my red glove or my bait glove on there protecting it. This is going to be my cranking stick. I really like this for a cranking stick. Um, yes, the action is a little fast, but I just tend to slow it down because it's a, a versatile rod. Now this is the Shimano Casitas. I have it on with. Uh, 15 pound fluoro clear from P line. I really, really like their fluoro clear. Now, the only time I like this because it still sinks, so I can still get maximum depth on my crankbait, and it's virtually clear in the water. So, this is going to be a Shim uh, St. Croix Mojo Bass again. This is going to be um, last year's model. It's the seven foot medium power fast action. Now, this year's model is going to be a seven one medium power fast action I got last year's model hey I can't complain it was on sale so that is why I did it I really like this as a crankbaiting rod it's gonna have good backbone so when you go to set that hook it's still gonna spring and you can feel the bites I love the p-line fluoro clear on it because it it does its job it gets that bait down deep and that is what I need. I need that bait to go down deep so I can bounce it off of rocks and stumps and everything else. Um, so that's four of my rods. The other couple are soon to come. Um, I just figured I'd give out this little setup first and see what y'all thought. Um, so leave a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. Tell me what I can do better. Uh, please like this video, and if you guys haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I I really would appreciate you guys subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, if you guys want, send me emails, send me fan mail, send me anything. All that will be linked in the description. Um, I will link another video up here to my Mystery Tackle Box unboxing and a subscribe button down here. So please, please, please go do subscribe or view my other video. Um, Oli's Adventure, Oli's Fishing, whatever you want to call it, Oli's, let's go with Oli's Fishing 109. Signing out, you guys have a marvelous day. I'm about ready to go to class, so we'll see you guys later. This video is just another one of my soon-to-be. Have a good day, guys. Peace.